Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Breath of Fire. More than likely the finale of Breath of Fire, even. I, it's, it's been, uh, I, I want to say a long time coming. It, it really hasn't. Uh, it's one of the shorter RPGs that I've played in a while, I feel like. Uh, but it might also be because I'm actually enjoying myself a decent bit. I love it when RPGs have that sauce, and that sauce doesn't give me food poisoning. Alright, are they gonna shoot this bird out of the sky? They're not. I can't believe it. Damn! around here. Like, there totally isn't just this completely empty area with nothing, right? Right? Or maybe there is. Maybe they're just like, no, just go to the giant castle. You, I knew it! What is all this? All right. Let's go. Actually, another thing we need to do. Agility. Let's make you faster. Luck. Let's do that for you. Strength. Let's do that for Zach. Fantastic. Zack shows the pass. I guess it's okay. Go ahead. Damn. It's that easy, huh? It's 
old technology and the parts are not in the right place. A man from Spring climbed this tower a while ago. You can't go up now because of an equipment failure. It's the switch. A man from Spring, you say? Don't talk to me unless you have something important to say. Don't talk to me unless you have something important to say. These people are assholes. I mean, I guess that makes sense. They are the enemy army, but still. Like, damn. I, w I wanna go home! I wanna go home. Emperor Zog resides at the top of the high tower. It's protected by a powerful shield and is heavily guarded. The Dark Dragons force us to leave our town and work here. The mole people have been forced to dig below the surface here. I want to go home. These aren't homes, these are prisons! The mole people got away. Dog finds out, he'll be very angry. They dug a hole and got away. Without them, we can't e excavate obelisk. There's nothing for us here right now. Blue shows the pass. I guess it's okay. All right. Well, uh, I know where we're going. I want to ride on this beautiful bird. I climbed the Scandi Tower and brought the parts home. Here. They're broken. Nina receives the broken parts. The parts could be fixed in Gant. It'll be great if this hobby can help you. Alright. Gant. Gant is ox people, correct? I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. Really, we'll be fine. Weapons can be used for good intention. It all depends on the user. I'll wake him up. Ah! Hmm. 
isn't completely awake, but you can talk to him. Zach, what can I do for you today? <sighs> what have you got? Hmm, let me take a look at it. Nina hands over the broken part. It's the broken parts of some device. I can fix them. Uh, you can rest while I work on them. Parts are completely fixed. Nina receives the parts. That was easy. Come back anytime. It's almost going too well. The parts fit perfectly. Are you wondering why I'm here? You can get to Zog if you wish. Why am I letting you do this? You'll know soon. The D-Hurt is a weapon in Tunlin. It can destroy any dragon. Well shit, I guess we have to go to... We gotta go to T-Hurt then. Or not T-Hurt, fucking Tunlin. Hello. A legendary weapon? I don't know about it, but I know a dragon song. Zack is disturbed. The song is called The D Hurt. If you like it, I'll put it in a bottle. Nina receives a bottle filled with the D Hurt. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. Um. Okay. We have a song that kills dragons. Kind of. Will they let us in now? All right.
glove, power hat. Okay. Okay. All righty. I'm surprised to see you here. Make the dragon family proud. It's good to have power, don't you think so, Zack? The world should be united, and one man should control it all. The world is mine. No one stands in my way. Oh, that's a big dragon. <laughs> oh, let's go ahead and do this. This is a legendary weapon. so cool. Zog grinned fearlessly.
Ow. 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 Hell yeah. Easy. I underestimated you. You've beaten me, but not my dream. Go, warrior, and rebuild the world for a new generation of dragons. Help? Wake up, Zack. Ah! Zack, I'm so glad. I've heard about you, Sarah. You left to fight the Dark Dragons alone? You can put your mind at rest now that Zog is gone. Thank you all for helping, Zack. I knew that you would grow into a great warrior and destroy Zog. I've been looking forward to the day that we could celebrate together. Control yourself, Ox. I can't help it. I'm deeply touched. I'm so happy for you, Zack. The world has been saved, just like the legend told us. There it is! The last key. There is still one problem. We must destroy the goddess keys. Zack. No. Don't be evil. <laughs> Give me the remaining keys. Zack handed over the goddess keys over to Sarah. Yeah. Huh. That was so easy. What? Here they are, Jade. You've done well, Sarah. Thanks to all of you for getting rid of Zog and finding the keys. Are you worried about your sister, Zack? With my spell, I have total control over her. Okay, so she's my sister. I, I honest to God, did, did the game ever say, like, my relationship with Sarah? I thought she was my mom for a while, honestly. <laughs> we will leave for Agua to release- Yeah, I, I knew we would go back to that fucking place. Tear. You will slowly waste away in this dungeon. Ha <laughs> ha! The mole people! <laughs> Just mole people! Are you trying to get out too? Hmm. Follow us! That was easy. Very convenient. Dun dun dun. Holy shit, they're just like, nah, not here. No. Nope, not here either. Hmm. Shh, don't disturb the Master Digger. He needs to concentrate. We're running away from the Dark Dragons. Who are you? You destroyed the Emperor. We don't have to run away anymore. Cool. It's too noisy. I can't concentrate. Please be quiet while I'm digging. Yeah! Ooh. 
ready. We don't have to run. I'll let everyone know. Bum -ba -dum. I'm a master digger. Since you defeated Zog, I don't have to do be a part of their evil plans. We excavated almost all of Obelisk. You defeated Zog. Now I can go home. Thank you. After you defeated Zog, the gods deserted us. Now we can escape. This is the site of the excavation. We were dig digging up Obelisk. He is a great digger, but he has no sense of direction. Hmm. Alright. Jade is planning to go to Agua with a beautiful woman. Karn read the inscription on the tablet. Hello? What? Oh, do we just fly up here? What? Something's going on with the tower. There it is. What the fuck was that? <laughs> it wasn't. It wasn't rendering. <laughs> okay. Go. Dun dun dun. Stop him before he succeeds. Oh, wait. I... <laughs> Stop him before he succeeds, Zack. I won't let you interfere. I'll destroy you myself. The machine is a place for a key. Yep. I wonder what the other key was. We never obtained that key. You're too late. She has been released. Oh, that fucking thing. I shall now meet Tyr. Whoa. Okay.
agile armor. Trap guard. Not good. Okay. Okay, you do that. That opens this door. And that opens this. Attack is slightly less. But it gives me more of, like, everything else. Okay. I'm curious, can I fall off? No, I can't. Okay. Ah! The power of the shield blocked Zack and the rest of the party. They received some damage. You'll never be able to penetrate the shield. You can only watch Jade march to world domination. Okay, I'll remove the shield. The shield is gone. Hurry, you must go. Zack, Jade is using my a spell to control my mind. Sometimes the spell breaks and I regain my senses. You should go. I must say one last thing, Zack. I know that you'll do whatever it takes to stop him. Hello, sister.
we go. Brother, I'm finally free from Jade's control. Don't grieve over me. You did the right thing. Sarah is free from Jade's control. This was right here. Damn. Power armor. Okay. So I'm in here. They want me to go down here. And then they want me to walk back here. And take a drink. Do that. Do that. Oh, that looks like a solid wall. Okay. Um.
Oh, what the hell? How do we get to you? Okay, so if I ignore that top area altogether, stairs. It was a trick from the beginning. Kind of impressive. Strong pressure pushes the party down. Zack. What took you so long? Did your sister give you a hard time? The goddess Tyr has been released, and she is mine. I am all-powerful. Wake up, Zack. Don't leave. Oh. You're alive! Your sister asked me to take care of you in my dreams. When I woke up and walked outside, I found you. She is always protecting you. You're back. I'm so happy. been unconscious for three days. Your sister brought us here. She saved our lives. Nina, emergency! Oh, you are back, Zack. Jade has resurrected Obelisk. We must stop him. Everyone is waiting outside. Let's go! He's right. Let's go. Fight for us, and fight for the sake of your sister. I didn't know that something so, so formidable was buried there. The enemy is very powerful, Zack. It doesn't look good for us. If there is any hope for the future, we are it. It's our responsibility. Let's go. Obelisk will move around. It's in Scandi right now. Nina can take us there at once. Is everyone ready? Let's stop Jade. Aha! There we go. Just had to fly into the right spot. Alrighty. There we 
ago. Just had to click it as anyone but Nina. There is no entrance. We'll have to dig a hole in order to enter. There's a crack. If I knew how to use this claw, it would help. Hmm, okay. Damn it. Hang on. We must defeat Jade before the world is on its knees. I would like to help you in any way that I can save the world. Hi, good to see you again. Remember me? I met you in Scandi. I still can't believe you got rid of Zog. He was tough. I know you'll beat Jade just like you beat Zog. It's like my grandfather always said. Say, you're kind of quiet. Am I boring you? I would like to help you any way that I can to save the world. Who's the fucking master digger here? Oh, be nice to my brother. Look after Mogu. While I was traveling, I lost a town treasure. Now it's at the bottom of the ocean. I don't expect to find it. Hope you'll bring peace to the world. We must defeat Jade before the world is on its knees. You found the Iron Claw! Good work! I'll show you how to use it, Mogu. Watch closely. It's like that. Got it? Here, you take it. How am I doing? I guess that's about right. How to use the Iron Claw. Remember, it's old, so it'll only be able to be able to use it once. Only once, huh? Sounds about right. the item shop. Ooh, wait, is there no item shop in this town? Interesting. Okay.
Okay. You. I'm not going to let you interfere with Emperor Jade. I'll stop you if you try. Oh, he went that way? I'll go this way. Flame Hammer. It's been a while since you've got an upgrade, buddy. Gets rid of some of your defense, but you get a lot more attack, a bit more magic defense, and more active. I'm giving you a warning. Ignore my warning and face the consequences. 
Your journey has come to an end. Accept your defeat. You. How did they beat me? Th this can't be! He left a Gota shaped hole for us. <laughs> did, did I win? Oh god, there's hearts. There's hearts everywhere. first try. Was that okay? Kept up with me in spite of the odds. Well done. If you switch to my side, I could give you a town or two. What do you say, Zack? Wanna join? Yeah! Of course. You know what's best for you. I'm in charge now. Don't even breathe unless I say it's okay. What's the matter? Change your mind? No. Of course, you know what's best. You're boring, Zack. 
entertain me. Up to no. That's too bad. Oh! Well, this has worked so far. Let's, um, let's embarrass him. Damn, a hundred damage, you say? Jade grinned fearlessly. Ah! Are you happy now that you've beaten me? Don't let it go to your head. You didn't really defeat me. It was my destiny to lose. I knew it when I released the goddess. Enjoy meeting Tyr, the goddess of destruction. I was trying to get on the throne. Ooh. Okay, well, I, I got stuff from it. I think it said another hammer. It is. Even more damage. Emperor sword for f that. For that. Wow. All right, yeah. Hi. 
Are you the goddess? What do you want? Did you come here to have a wish granted? Yes. Go ahead, ask me for anything. Money, power? Should I heal your wounds? HP is completely recovered. What do you want? Have you come here to have a wish granted? No. You didn't come for a wish? Then why are you here? Why did you have your sword out? Are you ready to fight? I mean... Let's do this. Kill. Kill. <laughs> huh? You can't challenge me to a fight. You're only humans. I'll destroy you all. I don't believe this. Holy shit. Well, when in Rome. <laughs> Same scenario. Go for the kill. Holy shit. Goddess is intrigued. Big crash. using a cure after this. What if I just hit auto? Like I just I just have to hit the cancel button before uh before I get mortally wounded.
Hang on, just real quick. Sorry, a friend of mine called during the final battle. I need to heal anyway. Man, I'm glad I found this transformation, because this boss is, uh... <laughs> this boss is pretty long. <laughs> I mean, it is the final boss, so... <laughs> Just imagining a goddess with 12 gold to her name. You can't win, humans. This is only temporary. I shall return. It's happening again. So many birds. Oh, <laughs> it's beautiful. I'm proud of you, Zach. You turned the tables on the goddess of destruction. You and your companions completed the mission of the legendary warriors. This is the beginning of a new legend. I have watched you succeed, so I have no regrets in leaving you. Wait! Goodbye, Zack. You made me proud. You are a true warrior. You have done well. I'll remember that you saved the world. This is the beginning of a new legend. It's finally over. It's about time! There is still much work for you. You must help those who lost much during the war. Can't we take a break? A real hero doesn't quit till the job is done. We're making history. We'll all be legends someday. That's right. No, oh, don't forget, you still owe me my money! Again with the money. Is he worthy of hero status? Let's go. Nina, we should return to the castle. The king is waiting. There's still a lot of work left to be done. Tell the king that I'll return when I'm ready. You can't go back to sleep? Hey! My man Ox! Fish people. Good luck in your new store, guy.
You guys only just started rebuilding? <laughs> hey, that's pretty cool. I like that. bamboo that was fun I, I liked that um com combat felt very basic at times uh especially towards the end of the game where there really was just one winning scenario and any other and anything else you attempted is just not going to be as effective as that. Especially the final couple bosses where I could turn into Agni. Like, that is just... It's over. Like, there's nothing that can be done. I, I just beat them to death. <laughs> uh... Something interesting is that this game tries to be both very serious and humorous at the same time, I feel like. Uh, which is something that uh, one of my other favorite RPGs I've played so far, Final Fantasy V, does a lot. But I, I don't think this game is as, as successful as it, as that game is. Uh, like, at the, at the very least, the game knew to, like cut it out kind of towards the end and it's just like we're getting into it's like it is serious now like there's nothing really to joke about anymore but when the jokes were happening they either some of them i'm not even sure if they were jokes i'm gonna be honest it, it felt like it felt like maybe some of it was unintentional. Like, very unintentional humor. The, the amount of times that I, like, saved a town from their situation and then, like, immediately one of the people is just like, oh, you saved our town. Let me fix the one thing that you guys need so that you can progress the plot forward. Like, no request needed. Just like, oh, you did the thing. Let me fix your thing now. Like, the, the best scenario was Gus. Where, like, you had the the whole shebang with the, the uh, everyone going insane. Uh. All oh, Capcom staff. Like, everyone going insane because of his flower pollen and destroying the bridge and kidnapping a guy and turning him into a monster and you is that me oh, fuck you capcom <laughs> thanks for playing and then like you save everything and you save the guy that was getting transformed and he's just like oh you saved me how could i ever repay you anyway let me go fix the one bridge that you need repaired and, like, we don't ask. We don't ask for anything. He's literally just like, I gotta go fix the one bridge that needs to be repaired for you to progress. To be continued. Ooh. Is that a Breath of Fire 2 protagonist? I actually haven't looked up if uh, Breath of Fire 2 got a Game Boy remaster as well. I assume it did. Uh, I assume the SNES... Breath of Fire games probably got Game Boy Advance remasters. May, uh, the PS1 Breath of Fire games, probably not. Uh, maybe they got, maybe the, Bre the PS1 Breath of Fire games, maybe they got like a PSP remake. But on it, I, I haven't checked that far ahead. I haven't checked to see uh, what those games have to entail. But yeah, 
This, this is a very fun game. I like Breath of Fire quite a bit. Um, but like I said, I, I think some of the humor or the parts that I found humorous were unintentional. And combat got really, really basic. Like, even with eight party members, m most of which... Oh, here's another thing. There are eight party members. But those eight party members are pretty useless, honestly. Like, once you start getting the ability to switch out party members, it's literally just like, no, this character is definitively better. This one's better. This one's better, and this one's better. The other four can just fuck off. Like, there's no point in the other four. Like, three of them exist. Gobi, uh, Ox, and... Bo had a little more purpose, but once you get this ability, Bo is also this way. Uh, these three characters exist specifically for Karn to use his uh, transformation abilities on and make a super powerful creature out of. Like, they exist for just that purpose. Uh, Mo Mogu exists because they came up with a digging mechanic and wanted a character that could dig and, you know, mole people. Like, I, I, like, they did write a whole, like, plot point about the uh, oppressed mole people and how they were enslaving them so that they could dig up the obelisk towards the end of the game, which is a neat plot point. But, like, just Mogu as a party member, he exists as someone that can dig. That's it. Like, there's no reason why you would use Mogu as a party member at that point in the game when you have so many better options. Uh, blue? Now, I, I did think Blue was pretty useless at first. And honestly, she was. She, she was pretty useless for a bit. Uh, but that's because she she's very, very weak at the beginning. But Blue levels up faster than any other character. And the more she levels up, the more stronger black magic she gets. A until you get just incredible stuff. Nina also levels up fairly quickly compared to a lot of the other cast. Uh, not as quickly, but fairly quickly. And then uh, she gets uh, white magic. Uh, Nina's transformation was pretty cool. Uh, it's also very, very sudden. Like, we lose Nina... And then immediately find her again. Like, I, she, like, traveled through time and space. And she also has blue armor now instead of the red armor. Uh, and then she find, uh, we find her. We make an amnesia potion so that she remembers us. Uh, and then she's just like, oh yeah, by the way, I'm like uber powerful now and have a new portrait and I'm like a completely different person. Uh, well not completely different, but like, like there was a, th there was like an off screen transformation of like the first party member we ever got. And it just happened so quickly with no fanfare. And it's just like, oh, by the way, I, ca I can be bird now. I can be bird now. I don't know. Uh, I, I think this is just Super Nintendo <laughs> sickness. Uh, Super Nintendo RPGs can do a lot. And, and they have done a lot. But I feel like uh, sometimes they, they run into a problem where it's just like, I don't know. They come out really simple at times. Not that simple RPGs are bad, but like after playing Final Fantasy 4 and 5 like it, it feels really weird to go to some of these other RPGs that came out uh, around that same time or even later and going like 
they, they do just things worse. I don't know. I guess it's unfair because this is Capcom. This isn't like Square or Enix, not even like published by them or anything like that. This is just a Capcom game. Uh, but it's around that same time frame. And despite the fact that I think it's really fun and like it has a lot of fun mechanics specifically in regards to like transformation spells like that's really cool the whole transformation stuff where the main character zach as well as uh damn i've already forgotten his name sucks to be him i guess the only other guy the only other like regular human character which i guess is another thing some of these characters don't really do anything outside of their immediate introduction uh, like, like the one human character, uh, the, the guy with the transformation abilities for Puka, I, he was Puka for, like, a majority of it, but, like, I've already forgotten his name, because aside from his introduction and his really, really short, uh, character development of, I want to be the best thief ever, and then we go through... Like, we meet him halfway through the dungeon, and he's just like, I've come here to prove that I'm the best thief ever. And then we go through the second half of the dungeon, and the dungeon's just like, you are the best thief ever. And he's just like, yeah, yeah, I am, yeah. And then that's it. His character development is over. It's, like, I can't think of any other point in the game where he has anything going for him. Uh, Blue also doesn't really have much character development. Outside of her going, oh, I don't want to help you. You guys do it yourself. And then going, oh, well, you did the thing that I asked you to do. So, like, I guess I'll join you on this word-saving conquest. <laughs> Even though she was the original... If if I remember correctly, Blue was, like, the original sorceress that, like, came up with the whole goddess key shit and locked the goddess away in the first place. So, like, what? Like, I, I feel like if she heard this, she should have been like, the goddess is what?! I'm coming with you. But instead she was just like, oh, I'm tired. Throw this egg in in a volcano and it'll help you with this very specific problem that you're having. Uh, and then we do that and she's just like, oh, I, I, I guess I've changed my mind. I guess I'll come with you. <laughs> I don't know. It's... No one really has character development, it feels like. The only person that has a character like arc is nina kind of and that one is like really really quick as well well i guess the other guy also has a character arc but like i said it it lasts half a dungeon <laughs> it, it literally lasts half a dungeon and then it's over uh ox ox might be the character with the most development like the the one that has the arc where he's just like i have to save my people and then it's just like no they still have my wife i must save her i don't know the more i think about it the 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 individual character stories that this game has are not very compelling i feel like the story of like the world and like this empire trying to scrounge up the six goddess keys to awaken the goddess so that she can uh i guess just destroy the world maybe help them make it into a new image one that's better for them or something like that but even that motivation is kind of flawed I, I, I'm kind of picking away at, at the story of the game a little bit, but that's not to say I still didn't enjoy my time. It's just that I, I feel like... I feel like there's just problems in this game that hopefully get ironed out and fleshed out more so in future games, because there are five games in in this series i thought there were four but there's actually a fifth one uh 
it, it's just the fifth one does not have a number, I don't believe. And technically, there's actually even a sixth one, but that sixth one might as well just not exist because it was a phone-only game that is now currently shut down, and by the time it shut down, it didn't even get all the content out that it wanted to get out. Like, it was an episodic phone game that got through six of, it eight, of its eight chapters, and they were just like, no, nah, it's not profitable anymore. It, it, if you were still playing our game and invested, fuck you, you don't get the last two chapters. <laughs> uh, but anyway, yeah. Uh, I'm glad I played Ble Breath of Fire. I'm excited for future Breath of Fire games, because I feel like, once again, uh, a lot of these, like, ooh, this is their first game, this shows a lot of promise. I feel like this is a very similar situation. This game shows a lot of promise that with a second and or third game could become incredible. But as it stands, I think the game is just okay. <laughs> I think it's an okay RPG. Uh, it's better than the last couple of RPGs that I've played, mainly because I actually had fun through the whole thing, and it also didn't drain the life out of me because it was way too long and or long-winded but oh well that is breath of fire thank you all for watching especially if you got this far and stick around because there's a lot more to come